Hi everyone, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. Um, this is going to be a haul I just did. Um, I went to Creative uh, Art of Recycle in Ephrata, PA, and um, I went yard sale and looking for some good yard sales and I didn't find anything. So I ended up going to the Art of Recycle and I did find a bunch of stuff there. So I got these Flower Soft. These were three dollars a piece yeah these were three dollars a piece you have this one here which is like a orange yellow this one's a pink um this is the blue and then there's some green they had more colors i just wasn't sure that i would use them um i think if i'm not mistaken this is also a powder this is from stamp pendis apple sour green apple i think it's a flower soft as well it looks puffy in there this one was only a a uh, dollar fifty then i bought this because this looked interesting i bought two jars of this i don't know really what it is it says debbie moore selection print magic winter lake it was 350 and like i said i bought two and i gotta get the I can't really see the print. I was trying to look at it in the store. And I think it says that we put it on your paper and then I'm not sure if it says um, to heat it or not. I'll have to get like a mic, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, one of those things that make the words brighter for you. Yeah, cause I can't see, I can't see anything. Sorry, I'm just gonna swear. <laughs> um, okay, here's another flower soft. This one was $4 cause it's, I guess because it's bigger, but it's really pretty. I got that. I only found four wood stamps. I found this PSX and it's a, a scarecrow in a pumpkin field. And it is from 2002, but it's a PSX. It needs a little help. I gotta clean it up. This one's from Anita's Attic. I only paid 75 cents for it and I thought it was really cute. It's like a little cookie, it has a ring on the top. That was cute. This one, um, this one didn't have any markings on it. It was 55 cents, but it's a little Santa. He had no markings, so. And this one, I think I had this before, or I still have it, I'm not sure. This is a Hero Arts. I paid 75 cents, but it has strawberries and daisies. So if I have it already, um, it looks familiar, but if I have it all, I'll, I'll put that in a D-stash or Happy Mail. Okay, and then I got these stamps. I believe this is a peachy keen. I'm not 100% sure, but it's orange like peachy keen. So I'm guessing it is. It was $5. <clears throat> it's really cute. It has little faces for your acorns. So cute. And then I got this one from May May Made It. And it's a little stand that you could put. And it has pumpkins and the little basket you could put leaves in for fall. It has the awning you could put over the top and lots of sentiments for fall. So, and that was $5. Um, this one is a peachy keen as well. Believe it or not, that is a peachy keen. Uh, at least it looks like it, because doesn't that look like a peach up there? I'm thinking, I had this in my hand last time and it has the pink down here. This is, that is definitely a peachy keen um, uh, packaging. It was $5 and I put it in my hand last time and I put it back and it was still there. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it this time. So I got that. And then you guys, I found a bunch of whimsies and whimsies are one of my favorite stamps. And I um, am gonna go through them. And if I have doubles, then I'll pass the other ones on. Um, but this is Spring bring, Bringer. Spring Bringer. She doesn't look familiar. So I think I have her. I mean, I don't have her. $2.50, you guys, on these stamps. I thought that was a really good deal. This one looks familiar. It's called Berry. I don't know if I have her or not. And she was $2.50. This one's Sweet Blossom. <clears throat> and she was $2.50. This one, Honey Bee. And this one, believe it or not, was only a dollar. I don't know what the, why the difference, but... 
That's all right. This one was $1.50, and this one's called Bella. Um, this one was Oak Tree Boy. I know I don't have him. He is just so cute. That was $2.50. And then they had a candy bean. This was $2. And this one was only a dollar. It's from, uh, it says Small Stamps. Hot off the press. But it's a little pin cushion. I just thought that was super cute for um, any kind of project that you're doing with stitching. Little pink cushions, got like a thimble and a roll of thread, a spool of thread, a little heart and a button. It's just so cute. Okay, and then I found this brand new Echo Park birthday paper. It's not even open. The bottom's clipped, uh, I mean, still taped. It was only $3.50, you guys. And this paper was really pretty. It's great for birthdays. The balloons, it's got lots of cut aparts. It's got like the Mickey Mouse uh, Disneyland castle in there. But yeah, it's really pretty. I liked it. And brand new, has the tape on it for $3.50. Why not, right? That's a no-brainer. Okay, this, these are, I like to pick up this kind of stuff. These are old stickers, um, but I really like to pick them up because you can't find this kind of stuff anymore. And this was a Provo Craft. I don't know what year it was. This was $1.50, um, but look at how cute the little bunny is, the pot, um, the little birdhouse in the, in the water and pail. These are really, they remind me of primitive, uh, like the little birdhouse, things like that. And then it had a second side. I think it's the same. Yeah. And then I found these. These were only a dollar a piece. And then I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is Mary Inglebright. Um, yep, it is. Mary Inglebright. Yep, that's what it is. And look how cute. The water and pails, the birds, the flowers. For a dollar, you guys, you can't you can't get any better than that. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like there might even be two in there. Let me let me open this real quick. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I always make things harder for myself, you know. The scissors are right there. Yep, you guys. There's there's two sheets. So you get two full sheets. And then I got this one. This one has all the teapots. Isn't that cute? And the little cupcakes, the ice cream. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then they had another one like that. So I picked up both of them because they were a dollar. Mary Inglebright, we love her, don't we? Well, I do. Okay, and uh, then I got this Timu Orin. I ordered some hair bows for River. They're all different colors, and they are the ones that have the little rubber band on the on the inside. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, she always has a, a little bow in her hair. Um, she, right now she had, uh, I thought, oh yeah, yesterday she had pom-poms in her hair. Um, I got the, uh, took, picked her up from the groomer and they had put um, pom-poms in her hair. It was so cute. She she tried to get them out. She's like rubbing her head and <laughs> she's funny. Um, and then I bought these. And these were so cheap, you guys, at uh, Timu. Look how cute that is. And it's got the little rubber band on the back. And they have black and red. I could probably make these, you know what I mean? I probably could, but it's easier just to buy them for a couple bucks and have them to put in her hair when I'm ready to dress her up. <laughs> so I got those from Timu, and then I got a few dyes. I needed a bumblebee dye, so I got a few different ones. Um, let me see if I can get this open. So I got that one. I got this one. You can see that through the paper. And then I got this one because this one doesn't have a face. 
and I can use my peachy keen faces for this. That's why I got that one. It's two different sizes. It has the wings and everything to go with it. And then lastly, I got this one. And this one also doesn't have a face. Um, so I was thinking my, you know, to put a uh, peachy keen. Oh, that's a, you know, that's almost, that's like the same size. Only this part is open and this part is solid. So you know what, you guys, I could do that with it. I could cut one out with um, black and then have the one in the back yellow. Wow, I didn't even know those went like that together. But yeah, their their wings are a different. Uh, yeah, their wings are just a little bit different. But you know, the body, the body is perfect size. That's so weird. But yeah, so those are the only dies that I got from Timu. I only ordered them because I needed some bumblebee dies. Um, and I wanted to get some hair bows. So it wasn't a very big order from Timu, but that's what I got. Oh, I did find this, but I bought this for someone else. I bought this at the uh, Reuse It shop as well. But I, did, um, I got it for someone else, not for me. But I think it's cute. So, yep, that's what I did today. I was, like I said, I went yard sale looking for crafty yard sales and I couldn't find one. Um, but, you know, I don't need another crafty yard sale. You guys, got I got another big, huge, gigantic um, lot that I purchased and it's coming on Thursday. I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. But I still have tons of stamps, you guys, from um, from the first one. Yesterday, I did the some of the stamping up. There are lots left if you want to take a look. Um, I have one box of paper left. It's solid colors and it's uh, stamping up paper. And um, that's all I have for yesterday. And then I'm going to, Monday, I'm going to do another video and I, ha I still have a lot more stamping up stamps I'm going to put up on Monday. And then um, probably take a break Tuesday and Wednesday and maybe create something and do something I want to do that's fun in my craft room. And then, um, and then Thursday when the other lot comes in, I'll look through it and uh, separate it and stuff like that. Because I keep, you know, I keep a lot for myself and then um, then I offer it in D-Sashes for you guys. So, all right. I hope everybody enjoys your weekend. Blessings. And we'll see you guys uh, soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Okay, bye.